Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Twins today is Kevin Gross, whose record is 1-2 with a 540 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Tom Filer, whose record is 5-1 with a 3.87 ERA. So we had another one-run victory yesterday, back-to-back uh, -back home runs from George Brett, his first as a Tiger, and then Gibby hit his 10th, uh, and that was all we needed to win. Um, it really was uh, tight in the ninth inning as we had to bring in Dave Smith to close the ball game out. I think we used every member of our bullpen uh, to uh, get the victory, so... Uh, a decent game. We head to game three of the three-game series today with Tom Filer on the mound. And he is really pitching to keep his rotation spot because uh, Dan Petrie here will be back in one week from today. So uh, Filer will get one more start, and then uh, I'll have to make a decision. Who is going to get cut? Is it going to be Filer? Is it going to be... Steve Mira. If it's Mira, we can probably tr trade him um, and to get rid of him. Um, otherwise, we have to cut him. We can't send him to the minors. So, uh, some decisions need to be made. Also, in in the same vein, uh, the trade deadline is coming up. Uh, what is that? Like in ten days, uh, eleven days. So, yeah, it's coming up really soon, and we're going to have to make uh, some decisions on whether we need to get a closer for this team or perhaps even a uh, top line starter. Ah, so many decisions to make. I don't even know what to do just yet. We do have uh, Tom Filer on the mound here, as you can see, and very limited uh, plate appearances against him from the Twinkies. Only 13 total, so not a lot to go on there. Uh, Brian Kelly will not be available today. He pitched two innings, getting the win yesterday. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the bullpen is available. And here's our lineup versus the right-hander, Kevin Gross. Uh, Lance Parrish back in there at catcher. And we've got Glenn Wilson back in there in right field instead of uh, Kevin Bass. So, Okay, let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Minnesota Twins. Batting the leadoff, playing second base is Kurt Siebert. Batting second in right field is Hoskin Powell. Batting third and DHing is Jim Eisenreich. Batting cleanup playing first base is Cecil Fielder. Batting fifth in left field is Gary Renicky. Batting sixth and catching is Dave Engel. Batting seventh in center field is Dion James. Batting eighth at third base is Dave Roberts. And batting ninth at shortstop is Mike Fishlin. Okay, let's take a look at Tom Filer. Um, I mean, he's just so mediocre. <laughs> Looking at his numbers, though, it, you wouldn't think that. He's 5-1 with a 387 ERA. More walks than strikeouts. Only 27 Ks in 88 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 254 against him. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Uh, his ground ball percentage is 47.1. He's only got one decent pitch. That's the fastball. Uh, his slider's below, just below average, and uh, his curveball is kind of terrible. Uh, overall rated a 78. The 26-year-old right-hander goes to arbitration next season. Uh, if you take a look at his log, um, has he faced at Minnesota? He has not, but he has won four decisions in a row, technically. Uh, so, I mean, he hasn't really pitched all that bad, but uh, not the, really a dependable starter. Okay, let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. We have Gold Glovers first, second, and in center field today. And we've got Parrish behind the plate with his 84-rated arm. Okay, here's Kurt Siebert leading off against Tom Filer. Siebert batting 167 versus righties. A ground ball to Treble, and Treble throws him out. 
one down. Here is Hoskin Powell. Powell still above 300, batting 308 with three home runs and a base hit to left. And an error by Gibby allows Powell to advance to second. Mishandling it out there in left field allows Powell to get an extra base. Gibby, of course, not known for being a good defensive outfielder. Hobbled by all those knee injuries. And let's see if it's going to cost us. Here is uh, Jim Eisenreich. He's DHing today. Normally a right fielder. A flare into center field. It will be caught by Anderson. Powell has to hold. That's going to leave it up to Cecil Fielder to drive in that run. Big Daddy, he's got 15 home runs on the season. And a strikeout from Filer. We'll strand the runner at second base. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Tigers lineup. Batting leadoff, lead playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second, playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third, playing first base is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup and DHing is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth, playing third base is George Brett. Batting sixth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting seventh in center field is Ricky Anderson. Batting eighth in right field is Glenn Wilson. And batting ninth and catching today is Lance Parrish. Okay, let's take a look at Kevin Gross. We've seen him once this year already. He is making his sixth start on the season, one and two, with a 540 ERA. Uh, 18 strikeouts in 33 and the third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 284 against him. His fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. His ground ball percentage is 43.2. The only uh, pitch he has above average is the curveball with a fastball and changeup just below average. He's got a lot of room to grow. He's already uh, rated in 86, uh, and his peak right now is 93. So you'll see these numbers probably improve over time. The 22-year-old right-hander, he goes to arbitration in 1986. He's not happy. What's his deal? He wants to join a team that can win the World Series. That is the dream, Kevin Gross. All right. Uh, here is the Twinkies defense. Same as the uh, first two ball games of the series with uh, some defensive liabilities at first, third, and center field. Okay, here's Sweet Lou leading off against Kevin Gross. 2-2 two -two count and a sharply hit ground ball to second. One down as Siebert makes the play. Next up is Alan Trammell. Tigers no longer as Trammell gets a base hit to the left. Maybe a double? Maybe a triple? We're going to say no. We're going to hold it to a double. I was going to say the Tigers no longer have any batters batting over 300. Technically, Brett has taken over the team lead with that 299 batting average, but... Um, you know, he hasn't played for Detroit, but 10 games, so. Murray, and he walks. So we have first and second. One down. Probably a good move to uh, pitch around Murray to get to Hatcher. Um, setting up a potential double play, but Mickey is our RBI guy. Let's see how he does here. First and second, one out, 1-0 one -oh count, and a ground ball to second. That should be two. It is. We head to the top of the second inning with Gary Renicki leading off. Renicki, Engel, and Deion James. Here's Gary Renicki. He leads off the inning with a high fly ball to left. Gibby handles that one. So one down. Next up, here is Dave Engel, all star catcher. Striking out, swinging. How is it that the Twins had two All-Stars and we had only one? I don't, I don't know how it's possible. I do like seeing Filer throw in some Ks. That's the second uh, of the game. And then what should have been ball four is a tapper back to Filer, and he throws it away. Our second error 
here in the second inning. Okay, um, so that's going to bring up Dave Roberts. A very poorly rated batter, but he's batting 341. We're going to play straight away. He's got some power. And a base up the middle. And that will give the Twins the lead. Unbelievable. 1-0 Minnesota. Runner on first. And a base hit for Fishlin. Roberts goes to third. Two down, runners at the corners. Here's Kurt Siebert. We have to pull the outfield in now uh, to try to catch any ball that might drop in. Here we go. First pitch swinging. Oh, a stolen base. Well, that's fine. I guess that's fine. I mean, what are we gonna do in that situation? You can't throw down. Now we will bring the outfield in uh, again. Okay. And it's all one count. Second and third. Here we go. And a base hit. So there was nothing we were going to be able to do <laughs> this inning. All these runs are unearned. And it's uh, already what seems like a pretty insurmountable lead. Another hit. So another run scored. How many is that in a row now? One, two, three, four. And then the error was before that. Uh, yeah, so this is like seven batters in a row now that have reached base. So, so much for Filer having a good ball game. And another error. Five to nothing, three errors, and uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do. That's a shame. And maybe another error? Okay. So the Tigers give up five runs. That was a mogling. I don't know. It, can it be a mogling if there's only errors? I mean, I know there's multiple errors, but there was no pass ball. There was no wild pitch. Uh, there was no balk. So is it a true mogling if you don't get, uh, you know, if they don't run the table? <laughs> you know, on all those different categories. All right. There's an infield single from Brett. At least Brett has showed up. He had a rough start um, once he got traded over, but he's found his, his way. He's 11 for 34 right now. Uh, as a Tiger, so we'll take it. Runner on first. Let's see if Gibby can go deep again. Oh, he got jammed high and tight. Popping it up to shallow right center field where Siebert makes the catch. One out. Here's Ricky. Hey, a base hit for Ricky. I don't know why I'm still running him out there. He's so terrible right now, but we'll take a base hit. First and second, one out. Glenn Wilson at the plate. He had the day off yesterday. He's been in a micro slump. Striking out. And that will bring up Lance Parrish, who... I just flipped a coin, threw him in there today. He's only betting 204 versus righties. And a ground ball to second. So, we uh, strand two runners in both the first and the second inning. We head to the top of the third, five to nothing. No earned runs yet. Um, so, you know, you know uh, if we leave Filer in there, he will eventually, by the fifth inning, he will at least give up a couple of earned runs. He has to. So, um, we'll see how this plays out. Will Filer field that one? Yeah, there we go. There's one down. Deion James flies out to left. And Dave Roberts. Base hit. Six hits against Filer. A ground ball to Brett. And Fishlin is tossed out. So we go to the bottom of the third inning. Here's Sweet Lou leading off. 
Here's a base hit for Lou. Leadoff man is on. Um, I mean, I guess we're going to hit and run, but we're down five. You almost let, gotta let him swing. Oh, that's an error. A lot, of, a lot of cloud cover, I guess. As the base is loaded, one swing of the bat will make the game interesting, that's for sure. Hatcher. Base is loaded, nobody out. And a comebacker. A double play, nobody scores. And then Brett comes through with a two run single. So it's five to two. Those runs are unearned. Gibby rips it down the right field line. Brett won't score, I don't think. Oh, he does. It's a team leading fifth triple for Kirk Gibson. Nicely done. Five to three. What about Ricky? Ricky walks. Steal second base in this situation. Okay. Well, I mean, they do it and it works <laughs> with a crummy, crummy rating guy, but uh, I guess that's how it goes. None of the runs, none of the eight runs scored today are earned. Four errors uh, has really been the story so far. I would say it's a one, two, three inning, but I think we've got to make sure it's caught. There we go. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. We have now stranded uh, six runners in the first three innings. With Glenn Wilson, 0 for 2 today. 0 for 1, now he's 0 for 2. Comebacker. Lance Parrish. Ground ball to short. And Lou. Pounding into the dirt. Another error. Come on! There we go. Error number five. Um... Well, why not? We'll have Lou try to steal second. Dave Engel, his arm is an 80. It is only average. And yet he's already thrown out. Henderson. Whitaker's safe. That is because it was a curveball, I would assume. Uh, that is Whitaker's ninth stolen base on the year. Let's see if Trammell can come through here. He's one for two today. And nope, he pops it up. Stranding another runner. We go to the fifth inning. Filer at 76 pitches. And a base hit from Fielder. Next up, Gary Renneke. Ground ball to third. That should be an easy double play. Oh, come on! Come on! Unbelievable. We've given up four errors today. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. We'll guard the lines. We have a catch. We have nobody with any speed. This should be a double play if we can get a ground ball. Wow. I thought that was going to be error number five. I know you did too as uh, Parrish pounces on it and at least gets the lead runner at third. Now we've got a lefty up. And uh, that'll do it for Filer. He's almost at 100 pitches here in the fifth. Um, if we're going to have any chance of winning this ball game, which I don't... I, after four errors, I think it's written uh, on the wall, but uh, we'll, we'll bring in uh, Keith Comstock here to get one out, which is Dion James. 
LeBron James. Oh, one count. That's a fly ball to right center field. Is that going to fall in? Yep. Six to three. Here's Roger Weaver. We'll just play back. I mean, well, no, I guess we got to play in, don't we? Because uh, James has good speed. So there's no, I mean, we're not going to get a double play. And a three run home run. Nine to three. Eddie Murray leading off the bo uh, bottom of the fifth. How is Dave Roberts with a 70 rating absolutely crushing it this year? It makes no sense. I don't understand any of the machinations of this game. Base hit from Fielder. There's a wild pitch. Okay, it's on now. Let's try to pull the infield in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. There we go. We got the wild pitch. We've got, the, we've got two wild pitches this inning. What else are we missing? All right, all right. How about a pass ball? Another walk. We need a balk here. Uh, what? Okay, this could be error number five. Oh, man. I have a really, I'm beginning to have a really hard time defending this game anymore. There's a walk to Gibby. Four walks for Kevin Gross. I mean, they have terrible defense, a rookie pitcher, not one credible player other than Big Daddy, and he's 19 years old, you know? So, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. If the, um, you know, if, if the actual ratings don't mean anything and strategy doesn't mean anything, then what how, what is the point right um all right this will bring in dave smith why not we are simply playing this one out as we're going to lose two of three at home to a sub 500 team Bottom of the seventh. And I guess, you know, the point is, it, it isn't as if a, the Twins couldn't beat the Tigers 10-3. to 3. But does there need to be six errors and multiple wild pitches? And it, it, like, I, I don't know. It just doesn't... I think this game has become more and more flawed over the years. Like maybe the only way to get an actual accurate result is to just simulate, you know? Like instead of me just pushing a button, you know, what if we just, you know, went into, um, you know, general manager mode and let it simulate the game on its own would it still be 10-3? to 3? I don't know. Oh, they're going to bring in Eric Rasmussen. Eric Rasmussen, to me, was one of the ugliest guys I've ever seen. He has his, um, 
1970, uh, I guess it would be 1978, no, it's 1970, yeah, 1978 card, uh, was a St. Louis Cardinals card, uh, and I remember as a kid, as a seven-year-old, opening up packs and getting an Eric Rasmussen card, and he actually was scared me. <laughs> He scared me worse than that tarantula I did yesterday. That's the truth. All right. All right, we're going to the ninth inning. We're going to have a whole bunch of bullpen arms unavailable tomorrow. Wow. Why did James not score in a ground ball to second? That makes no sense. We didn't have the infield in or anything. Like, if, if there was any point where that run, see, like, that's why I truly believe there's like a run differential that is built in because anytime there's a, if there was a real triple in real life baseball and a ground ball in a game that's out of, you know, out of hand already, a ground ball to second, that guy would have been scoring no matter what. I mean, even if you think in real baseball that he was just trying to be considerate of the score. I mean, you wouldn't do that to your batter who would have got an RBI off of that. That's like costing him money. It doesn't make any sense. Bottom of the ninth. I have no idea who our player of the game is. I guess it's probably going to be George Brett. He did drive in two runs. Uh, he did have a, a, a one of the many errors. Uh, we're going to get some uh, garbage time runs right here. Oh, no. Ground ball to second. So we lose that one 10-3. That's another seven runs. Um, what is our win percentage here? Oh, there's a National League. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're still in first. It's so stupid. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're right, we're still hovering around the 600, uh, win percentage and, um, you know, the run differential. Wow. It's actually, uh, decreasing. It's at 85 runs. So that's interesting. Um, okay. So there we go. Now let's take a look at, uh, headline news. Boston wins. They're a half game behind the Tigers. They might be the team to beat in our own division. If they're putting it together now, uh, just, and they're winning despite not having Wade Boggs. Um, so that's kind of imp impressive. Uh, Mariners beat, uh, defeat the Sox. Seattle's one and a half games behind uh, the Angels. What else we got here? Toronto, there we go. Smith belts two home runs. Uh, so what's his... Let's look at the scouting on him now. He got 23? Oh, he's got 24 total. 13 in 36 games as a left-hander at Exhibition Stadium. That's awesome. I, I just like that that's happening. Okay, nothing else. Transactions. I mean, we have the trade deadline coming up, and there's nobody trading anyone. Seattle does lose a starter. They lost... Jim Beatty for a month, so he'll be back. Um, he seems to get injured a lot. He had one really good season of 37 starts. Uh, I wonder who their number five pitcher will be now. And Manny Sanguian retires at age 39. Um, a nice long career. He was out of baseball by 82, so I guess that makes sense. Part of a couple world championships with the Pirates. All right, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe.
Um, what do we got here? I think, yeah, we're going to give it to George Brandt, um, who's killing it. Thank goodness for George Brett. Um, Gibby had that triple. That was cool. Um, errors. Look at that. Brett, Trammell, Gibson, Filer. Um, yeah, Filer gave up seven runs, but only one was earned. Comstock, I bring him in to get the lefty, and he gives up a hit. That run scores. Roger Weaver uh, has been total trash. And Dave Smith, good job by Dave Smith sucking it up. Throwing three innings in relief. I don't know if he's ever done that before. Uh, he will not be available for tomorrow's game. And oh, Bicky Hatcher grounded the two double plays. All right, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow, start a series at Cleveland Stadium. Until then, everyone, have a great night.